What's going on, STEM junkies? Hope everybody had a phenomenal weekend. We are ready to start the week, and there is no better way to start the week than with a high STEM ace pre-workout review. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about a pre-workout that I've really, really been enjoying. This isn't a high STEM pre-workout by any means. It's more of a medium STEM for us STEM junkies. And this is something we can use three, maybe even four times a week. It's really nice. It's really clean. It's really smooth. I am, of course, talking about Smack V2 from Vices and Vibes. Yeah, guys, this is an incredibly awesome pre-workout. I picked this one up from NutraCartel.com back when they had the Black Friday sale, and I've really, really been enjoying it. I've ran it four times so far, and the experience has been nearly identical each and every time. So we're going to get into it, and we're going to talk about my experience with this pre-workout. Is it worth your time and money? Let's talk about it. Right off the bat, I really, really like this tub. I like the entire aesthetic you got going on here. You got the two serpents coming at each other. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really, really nice. It's got a little bit of that urban graffiti style aesthetic, and I really, really dig it. So it's a really, really nice tub, and that always makes it a little bit more fun and exciting. Again, tubs and labels don't really mean much, but it's nice when you get that extra bonus. So... We're going to talk about this label, guys, and one thing I want to mention right off the bat, and this is really, really important, if you guys got the first batch, and I'm talking about the very, very first batch on the Black Friday sale, there's actually a little bit of an error here on the label. So the label is going to say that the serving size is 19.4 grams at two scoops. But in actuality, the very first batch, the scoop is a little bit big, and it's really for one scoop. So make sure, always, guys, make sure... To weigh out your scoops. If you did pick this one up at the very, very beginning when it first launched, make sure you keep an eye on it because you don't want to be taking 30 gram scoops and then you're going to be flying off the walls. Or maybe you do want that. Anyway, guys, we are looking at 20 servings per container over here. The beautiful thing about this label here is that it is lower in the caffeine content. You know that High Stim Ace always preaches about these pre-workouts having too much caffeine, which causes jitters and heavy breathing and heart elevation and... In my opinion, it's not necessary, especially when you're synergizing these pre-workouts with all the other stimulants. Having crazy caffeine content, 500, 550, not necessary. So this pre-workout, the beautiful thing about this one is that it keeps the caffeine content lower, but it brings up some of those other stimulants to elevate the mood. Before I get into this label, guys, don't forget to smash that like button, share the video with a fellow stim junkie, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay, guys, so we're looking, like I said, at 19.4 grams per scoop, and this, of course, will yield us 20 servings per container. So no 40-20, none of that nonsense. 20 servings, straight up, and I prefer it that way. We start off with sodium, a sodium chloride at 180 milligrams. That, of course, is salt. That, of course, is going to help with the pumps. We got L-citrulline at 6,000 milligrams. Very nice dose. Beta alanine 3200, that is the clinical dose. L tyrosine at 3000 milligrams for the focus. Usually you're going to see about 1000 milligrams to 1500 for L tyrosine, so we're getting 3000 over here. Really, really nice. I like it. Agmatine sulfate 1500 milligrams once again for the pumps. Alpha GBC at 50%. We got that at 1000 milligrams, so really, really nice nootropic. Really helps with the focus, getting zoned in, dialed in. And having a nice overall nootropic effect when we're working out. Next up is Araya Puro, which is n dimethylamine citrate, aka Araya Geranesis. And we have that at a staggering 600 milligrams. So I've never seen a pre-workout that has Araya Geranesis at 600 milligrams per serving. That's pretty wild, but Araya Geranesis is the cleaner, more natural source of DMHA. It's kind of like a little cousin to DMHA. And it's really going to elevate that mood and it's going to synergize with all the other stimulants to give you that feel-good head buzz when you're at the gym. We have, once again, pink Himalayan salt, sodium chloride at 500 milligrams, once again for the pumps. Theobromine, 500 milligrams, a little cousin to caffeine, if you will. It's going to help with the focus, with the alertness, a little bit of energy output and all that other fun stuff. Infinergy, dicaffeine malate, that is the slower digesting form of caffeine. 200 milligrams. Caffeine and hydrous, 150 milligrams. Beautiful, beautiful dose. I really like that dose. 150 milligrams is really, really nice. Again, that is not the only source of caffeine. Like I mentioned earlier, we do have the 200 of dicaffeine malate. And coming up next, we also have 150 milligrams 
of coffee arabica fruit extract so that is the natural source of caffeine which hits a little bit smoother but again these are all going to synergize nicely together and the caffeine content is definitely lower than some of these other crazy high stem pre-workouts we got halostatin at 100 milligrams synephrine hcl at 50 milligrams that of course is a thermogenic going to help with the sweats Luprazine serrata extract 40 milligrams once again another nootropic Vindica Mind, I don't even know what that is, 20 milligrams. Black Pepper Extract, 95%, 5 milligrams. That, of course, is going to help with the absorption. As you guys can see, there's a lot of ingredients in here, and we really need a good source of absorption so everything enters our system efficiently. Lastly, Alpha Yo, 1.5 milligrams. So as far as labels go, this one right here is really, really interesting. When Jake posted this on Neutral Cartel for Black Friday, I was very intrigued with the label. It's very different than most other things I've seen. Really a lot of emphasis on that Genesis and some of the nootropics that are in here. You have three sources of caffeine, but they're being kept a little bit lower. So ideally, this is a pre-workout you could take at 4 or 5 p.m. when you go to the gym after work, which is usually when I go train on weekdays. And you can take this and you don't have to worry about having issues falling asleep afterwards or having jitters or being too high energy or anything like that. You can take this, you can have your evening workout and theoretically you can fall asleep and there's not going to be any issues. So as I said earlier, I've ran this four times already at the full dose. I made sure to weigh it out. Like I said, there was that little misprint with the two scoops, one scoop. So I made sure to take one scoop, which once again is 19.4 grams. And I got to say, guys, the effects have been consistent each and every time I've taken it. So this one's a bit of a creeper. I would say it takes about 20 to 25 minutes until everything kind of starts coming together. You're going to take the drink. This one right here is pink Star Blast flavor. So it's got a little bit of an artificial flavor to it. It's like a pink, fruity, candy kind of flavor. Nothing offensive. It goes down pretty smoothly. You feel a little bit of that black pepper extract, but again, nothing too crazy. It goes down pretty smooth, especially compared to some other pre-workouts. It's not that bad. You're not going to feel a crazy rush of energy right off the bat because, like I said, the caffeine is a little bit lower. And caffeine and hydrus, which is the caffeine that hits you instantly, that one's only being kept at 150. So that one's definitely on the lower end. It's kind of like a cup and a half of coffee, so really nothing too crazy. Some of these pre-workouts that have four or 500 milligrams of caffeine and hydrus, you're going to feel that boom right off the bat and then everything else will come together afterwards this one's a little bit different because the caffeine anhydrous is lower over here it's going to take some time i would say 20 to 25 minutes you're going to feel a nice smooth energy off the bat a little bit nothing too crazy but once you get to the gym you start pushing those weights you're going to start feeling it go up little by little little by little it's nice and smooth and it goes up consistently and at about the 20, 25 minute mark, that's when the Araya Genesis is going to kick in. That's when the mood elevation comes in. And I got to say, there is a very, very nice mood elevation here. The music is going to sound much better than it normally does. You're going to feel really, really good. And you're going to love the effects of this one. You're going to be locked in. You're going to be zoned in. You're going to be doing your sets. You're going to want to keep going. Again, this isn't a crazy, aggressive energy kind of pre-workout. This is very, very smooth, but very, very productive. So you're going to enjoy this one, guys. This one is really, really nice. The mood elevation is consistent. It lasts a good while. There's a nice head buzz that comes in, like I said, at the 20, 25 minute mark. And it lasts a long time. Really two and a half, three hours. Really, really solid. And the come down of this is really, really smooth as well. There's no crash, nothing like that. It just fades away little by little the same way it came in. So this one comes in smooth and it slowly, slowly builds up. And then it comes down smoothly to the point where it just goes away after a while and there's no crash and nothing like that. There's no appetite suppression on this one. I had no issues eating after this whatsoever. Again, there's no elicits in here, no DMHA, nothing like that. But this is a very nice productive pre-workout. The Genesis is going to make you feel good. You got the Hooperzine, the Halostashin in there. You got the Alpha Yo at 1.5 grams and this is a nice clean sourced Alpha Yo going to give you just enough energy to keep going through your workout and you're going to sweat a little bit there's a little bit of that synephrine in there a little bit of the thermogenesis but overall this is a nice well-balanced package and really this is a great pre-workout you can use numerous times a week and i really really enjoy it you guys can pick this one up over at nutricartel.com the number one place for pre-workouts fat burners protein powders and everything in between don't forget to use my discount code ace15 that's going to save you 15% off your entire order as well as help support this channel. Hope everybody has a phenomenal week. Go to the gym, get yourself some good pre-workout and crush.
that workout. Take care, everybody. I will see you all next time for the next High Stim Pre-Workout Review. Ace, signing off.